Aviation back here with another video. Today we're going to be doing another Windsor Locks International Airport update featuring several new models for this video. I really do hope you guys are excited for this video because I sure am. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on this video because I really do work hard on these airports, especially Windsor Locks, and I really hope you guys enjoy them because I love making these airports for you guys. But with all that being said, I think we're just going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, with just a little bit of news, so Sun Country and Prime Air are operating together. Uh, so we're going to go and start off at the bottom with the Sun Country 737-800. He has the blended winglets and he's going to be operating for Prime Air with nonstop service out to Lakeland, um, which is in California after his arrival from Cincinnati. Then above him there is a Prime Air 767-300 freighter. He's going to be heading out to Ontario, California. Next up here is a FedEx 767-300 freighter without the winglets, obviously. He's loading up and is going to be heading out to Memphis, which is a flight that is returned very happily. And he's come in from Indianapolis. All right, the next up here we have two UPS aircraft with both, with both sitting idle. Uh, the bottom one is a 763 and the top is a 752. The bottom one's going to be heading out to Louisville and the top one out to Chicago Rockford, which are very exciting return services. Then just taxiing off the runway 15 from arrival here is a United Express CRJ 550. He's just taxiing into the gate now after a flight from Chicago O'Hare. Then here is some beautiful lighting. We have a United Airlines A319. He's going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. He's just pulling onto the threshold, about ready to make this hard left turn. Um, and this aircraft has come in from Chicago O'Hare. All right, then luckily Air Canada's service has returned on one daily A319. I have an EU-75, so that's what I'm gonna be using. But this is an Air Canada EU-75. He's gonna be making an international flight out to Toronto, Canada. He is just holding short of runway 15 for that United A319. Next up there is a Southwest 737-800 Hart livery. He is number three in line for takeoff right now. He's going to be heading out to Chicago Midway after arrival from Orlando. Starting us off over here on the JetBlue side of things, on the bottom is an A320 iHeart New York livery. He's going to be heading out to Tampa, Florida. And above him there is a JetBlue A320 and the high rise tail. He's come in from San Juan and is going to be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. All right, the next up back there, we have a Delta 737-800 and some more intense lighting. This is a morning update, so we got some pretty decent lighting. He's just gotten to the gate from Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson and will be making the return flight. All right, then next up here we have a four plane epic lineup and some awesome lighting too. On the bottom is a Frontier A320 Neo, flower with hummingbird tail, loading up passengers and is gonna be heading out to Denver, Colorado. Above from there is a Spirit A321, the one that is currently in focus, the big yellow banana bus. That one's gonna be heading out to Myrtle Beach in place of an A320 Neo, which don't I just seriously needs to release those because I need them for a lot of my airports. Um, that one is going to be heading out to Myrtle Beach, like I said, after his arrival from Tampa. Right there we have two American planes currently in focus at the gates. At the bottom there is an American A319 LUS, which is Legacy US Airways. Um, he's going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare after arrival from Miami. But from there is an American A321. He is just getting on the catering and it's going to be heading out to Dallas Fort Worth. So what's really cool that they did is that they they actually got the two A321s here at the same time heading out to Miami and Dallas Fort Worth, which is what you're about to see. So then up at the top there is another American A321. This one has the shark lips and he's going to be flying out to Miami after arrival from Charlotte. Then below him is an United Express E175 who has come in from Denver and is going to be heading out to Denver. Then up there we have the Southwest Florida 1 737-700. He's just gotten to the gate after a flight from... We're gonna go ahead and do Oakland, which is a fictional route. He's just coming from Oakland or Gemini Jets 2000s Airport. He has not had a subscriber route in a while. Uh, so uh, there you go. Then concluding the video here, we had the highly anticipated, awesome, it's Canyon Blue Southwest lineup, which is another new model there in the middle, which is a Southwest 737-800 with the plain blended winglets. 
He's going to be heading out to Chicago Midway after arrival from Tampa. Below him there is a Southwest Canyon Blue 738. You're going to have a hard time seeing it behind the terminal, but there's a little tug there. He's just about ready to push back for a flight out to Fort Lauderdale. Then there at the top is a Southwest 737-700. His flight out to Orlando was canceled, so he's just going to be sitting idle there, and we'll have to see what happens. Maybe they'll send Florida One out there for him. Then here, concluding the video, we have a four-plane lineup. Awesome. Um, so that's that's it for the video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. We covered all the aircraft on here. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the new planes and everything. Uh, we should have some unboxing. Really, really cool three unboxings coming up. Uh, all three NG models, so I'm very excited for that. Um, but with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Go and stop the video. So we just have one thing to say. Um, at 150 subscribers, we're gonna be going back to that uh, subscriber special airport. We're, we're, we're pretty close. So I'm very happy to say uh, we're, we're gonna have it almost all new model. So I'm very excited for that. Then when I get to 100 planes, we're gonna be doing a full collection video, um, which I'm very excited to do as well. So like I said, Thank you guys very much for watching the video. Any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the comment, and I will see you guys later as Genes Aviation is now signing off.